Hello from the beautiful Fraser Valley in British Columbia, just outside of Vancouver. I wanted to share my gorgeous backyard with you guys as we go through our day two exercise. So we're going to focus on right hand only today. Yesterday we focused on left hand and right hand together. Today's focus is solely right hand. And what we're going to do is focus on the individual personalities and roles of each finger on the bow. So as I mentioned yesterday, our focus is improving tone both through applying left hand technique and right hand technique. So today's focus is to really get conscious of what first finger's role is on the bow by completely eliminating first finger. So what I want you to feel is just how much you use first finger and how important that first finger role is if you can't use it. So we're going to place second and third on the bow and pinky with a bent thumb underneath. If you're using beginner bow hold, go ahead and place your thumb underneath on the silver pad. Otherwise, if you're up in the frog, bend your thumb, try and keep two and three parallel to each other, and then curled pinky. I don't know if you can hear that. I've got a frog somewhere nearby. It's trying to sing. All right, so first finger off. Now, I would either like you to apply this to your tune. So if you're playing catharsis, you're going to try catharsis without a first finger. So it's going to sound very funky. In other words, it won't sound good and that's just fine. Um, if you're playing Highland Lullaby, apply it to Highland Lullaby because it's really challenging playing a full bow tune without first finger. Or if you're playing the 100 Pipers, go ahead and try it at the middle bow for 100 Pipers. So I'll show you a little snippet for each tune and what I'm talking about. So Highland Lullaby, full bows, no first finger. Our entire focus is, can I keep my bow straight if I'm not using a first finger? If that was easy, I want you to play the Highland Lullaby on the D and the A string, again without first finger. So this is for you beginners. If you find that a cinch, take off pinky. So now you only have fingers two and three in the bent thumb. You don't have first finger and you don't have pinky. All right, intermediates, here you go. You're playing at the middle bow. We're having to move faster because it's a jig and you don't have first finger on your bow. How do you control your tone? And that's one of the questions I asked you in your practice sheet is, what is your intention with your practice today? So mine is going to be completely focused on tone. Can I still create good tone even though I don't have my first finger on my bow? So we're going to find out. I don't know the answer to that. You're about to hear the answer to that. So join me here. 100 pipers, no first finger. It's like a science experiment. Hopefully it goes right. And then the last one will be catharsis, no first finger again. I'm just going to give you the A section because if I don't touch the computer for more than a couple minutes it kind of dies on me. So as I start playing my bow is starting to bounce. I'm really having to be conscious about my bent thumb and the weight I'm putting on the bow. Again, if that's easy for you, fantastic, take off pinky. So here's your challenge. Middle two fingers, try and keep them as parallel as possible. Every once in a while they'll do the splits, but try and keep them as close as, as possible. You're leaning into the stick even though you don't have first finger on and Pinky's going to wiggle its way through the tune, staying off the stick. So here we go.
right, so that's day two. We're really focused on the right hand. As you go through your practice today, I would like you to try yesterday's exercises without first finger. If you need a challenge without first finger and pinky, and let me know how it goes. Send me a video, a picture, even just drop a note at Model Fiddler at uh, Facebook page. Um, otherwise, if you are having any troubles or any questions, send me a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com. Can't wait to see and hear how it all goes for you guys. Bye.